What's up you data friends, it's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create these animated bar charts in Power BI. So more specifically, we click play and we can see the bar charts are changing. This one has the number of wins by player. This one has the price money by player. This one is a detailed table that changes based on the season. And this one is a map that again changes with the season. I am going to upload the raw data for this Power BI dashboard in my GitHub page. So feel free to download it and practice this as we go through this example. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel, and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, starting with the first thing we want to do now is that we want to open a new blank Power BI file, and we want to change our background to a light gray color like this, transparency to zero. There we go. Next, we want to add a title. So I'm going to add a text box over here. And then our title is going to be animated bar chart. So I'm just going to copy it from the other dashboard quickly. So we save time. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to make it a bit smaller maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Next, we want to add the images. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add these two images. Let me see, not these two, uh, this one and the other one. So usually when you're creating Power BI dashboards on the top left and top right, you're going to have the logos maybe or the dates. In our case, I'm just using two random images. So we make the Power BI dashboard look a lot nicer. So I'm going to move this up here like this and a bit smaller there we go next we want to load our raw data so we're going to head over into home excel workbook and we are going to select our data which is this golf data over here we're going to select our excel sheet and we're going to load the data in there we go we have our data and if we quickly visualize our data over here we can see that we have the season the country the player name the country code country two tournaments played, points, prize money, and the number of wins. Please note that this is actually cumulative data. So I have downloaded the data from this website over here, and then I've used the Python script to make the data cumulative. So every season I add to the preview season. If you want me to show that script too, let me know in the comments below, and I can create another video for that thing alone. Right, going back over here, the first thing we want to do now is to create our visual. However, the animated visual is actually not native to Power BI, so we're going to have to import it. So we're going to click on get more visuals, get more visuals. We are going to search for animated, so animated like this. Oh, we actually want the play button too, so I'm going to start with the play button and then I'm going to click add. The play button is actually this button, uh, where is it? Uh, this button you see over here where we're going to click play and then the visuals are going to start rolling into different seasons. So let me stop this, move it back, click OK. And then we're going to go back to load our animated visuals. So animated and then this is the bar chart we want. Click on it, click add. And there we go, we have our visual over here. So I can click on it and then I'm going to move it on the top left. Uh, let me get the dimensions quickly. So I'm just going to drag something in so I can change the dimensions. So the dimensions we want is, uh, let me check, 551, 490. So 551 and then 490, uh, 90 like this. Perfect. So into name now, we want to add the player's name, if I remember correctly, let me check. Yep, we want the player name. So over here, we're gonna add the player name and in the value, we are going to add the wins. So uh, wins over here. And then in the period, we are going to add the years. So the period we're gonna start and the period we're gonna end. So season is going to be the years. There you go. So you can see it started running itself. So we're gonna have to edit the format. To do this now, we're going to have to go over here in the format your visual and we're going to have to remove this autoplay over here. Now, if we want to start the visual playing, this is where we're going to need this visual, the play visual. So let me add it in. 
uh, where we can add the period. So uh, where is the period? It's actually season, sorry, no period. And if we click play now, everything in this page is going to start playing, going through the period. So you can see it started going through a different period. So now I'm going to pause it quickly. I'm going to go back to this visual. I'm going to change the title quickly to the wins by player and season. So I'm going to copy it from here and then paste it over here, put it in the middle, wins by player and season, make it bold and then make it black. Yeah, that's good. I'm also going to add effects and I'm going to add the shadows like this. Nice. Now I want to edit my season and I'm going to change the colors. So the title, first of all, yeah, season is fine. Let's make it black. Let's move it in the middle. Let's make it bold. And then I think 14 is the same with this one. Yeah, that's correct. Next, we want to change the colors. So I am going to have for play, I'm going to have something green, for example. Uh, yeah, maybe this color for pause. I'm going to have something gray, this one. For stop, I'm going to have light red. For previews, I'm going to have light yellow. And then for next, I'm going to have light purple, like this. I'm also going to remove the season because we have a title on the top. Next, I want to edit the size. So I make sure I use the correct spaces so we don't lose time. 116, 236. So uh, 116 and then uh, 236. And then that's our play button. Next, we are going to copy this. Oh, I'm actually missing the shadows. So let me add the shadows. Yeah, there we go. Now I'm going to copy this, paste it. And down here, I am going to add the season as a card. So it's always visible which season we are currently in. So I'm going to switch this to a card. And then on the sum of season, I'm going to do minimum or maximum. Both are going to work. And I'm also going to remove the category label. And I'm also going to add a title. And the title is going to be season like this. Let's see. Actually, season in play. So we know when we click play now, you're going to see this season going through the different seasons we currently have. Right. Next, we want to create this table now on the top right and we want to have season, player name, country, tournaments, prize money and wins. So basically all of our data. So we're going to copy this visual and paste it over here like this. Take all the space, switch this to a table. So go back over here, make a table. And then we're going to start by adding the season. So season, we don't want to average it or anything. So don't summarize. Then we want to have the player name. We want to have the country. Uh, and I'm going to rename this to country alone, not country two. Then we want to have the tournaments played. Then we want the prize money. And we also want the number of wins. I am going to rename all of these ones. So to take less space. So this is the prize money. And this is the wins like this. I am going to change the style of the table to minimal because I think it looks nicer. And then I'm going to make this uh, smaller. Actually, maybe let's just rename this to tournaments. Uh, so remove this like this. Uh, there we go. So now it's a lot smaller. I also want to remove the totals so we have more space. I want to move the column headers in the middle like this. And I also want to conditionally format some of the columns. So down here in the uh, cell elements, I want to select the tournaments, for example. I want to add data labels on the tournaments and I'm going to change the color to something lighter. So light blue, for example. For the price money, uh, I am going to have maybe a background color. And again, I'm going to change the colors to something light uh, red all the way to light. Uh, I want something light green. So maybe this one over here, click OK. And then for number of wins, we are going to add uh, icons. And if we check the icons, uh, I'm going to change this to a number, this rule. So if it's between zero and three, for example, red, if it's uh, more or equals three number, and less than maybe five wins, uh, less than, uh, sorry, where is five? Five, then yellow. And if it's uh, more or equal from five and less than a hundred, then okay. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, actually three should have been a yellow. So let me see it again. 
less or equal maybe and then this is just more than three let me see three no it did not change why so zero to three uh, oh number number sorry number and then number click ok there we go one two and three is actually red four is yellow and then anything more than four is sorry more than five is going to be green like this the next thing we're going to do now is to change the title and the title is actually detailed table so i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to paste it over here detail table and we have our table and if we pause this now and we start again you can see that as we go through the seasons the detail table is also changing right moving on we want to add our next visual which is the map this map over here to do this we are going to copy one of our visuals and then paste it down here and we are going to remove everything so let me resize quickly i'm going to switch this to uh, a map and i'm going to remove everything but country and uh, legend i don't want the legend uh, bubble size is actually the winds so i'm going to move this over here and the legend is actually going to be country i think right let me check quickly uh, legend is going to be country again yes so we want different colors for different countries then i'm going to move the legend down to uh, sorry let me enable it and then bottom bottom center and i want to remove the title like this i want to change the title now and the title is going to be uh, this title over here wins by player name and country and then what else do we want to do we want to change the style into dark there we go and then if we test it quickly let's click play there we go you can see it started playing you can see all these dots appearing depending on the wins per country right and the last visual we want to add now is the prize money so we can actually copy this paste it move it down here and we are going to switch the wins with the prize money so maybe down here and then we are going to switch the sum of wins with the sum of prize money which is this one over here um, let's test it yeah there you go so you can see all the visuals follow the same season and all of them are updating based on the season in play the last thing i want to do now is to change the title of this one and the title is prize money by player and season so i'm going to paste it in quickly i'm going to stop this there you go we have the correct title and the last thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to add a text box at the end so down here i have copied it and pasted it that says that the above dashboard should only be used with the play button and this is because the numbers are actually cumulative so if you use it statically in one season the numbers are not going to be correct this is why you have to use the dashboard because these numbers are actually cumulative so it's summing all the seasons so it's wrong so what this is saying only use it one period slash year per time so if i pause now this is correct these numbers if i do the stop here all these numbers are going to be added and the numbers are going to be wrong this is what this is saying and we also have the source so in case anyone wants to check our numbers they can follow the source and check our numbers right so this is it for this video i hope you've enjoyed this video and you've gained enough value out of this video if you feel like you did, then please click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. If you have any other cool ideas or concepts you want to test in Power BI, please let me know in the comments below and I can have a look at it. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.